marquee tool draws from corner to corner. If you hold the shift key after you've started drawing, it'll constrain that rectangle to a square. If you're using the elliptical marquee, it'll constrain the ellipse to a circle when you hold the shift key. Hold the option or out key. After you start drawing, it'll draw from the centre out. And you can add the shift key if you want to make that a perfect circle. If you hold the shift key before you start a new selection, it'll add the new selection to the old one. If you want to make the new selection a circle as well, release the shift key and press it again, and now it'll make a perfect circle. Hold the Option or Alt key, and that will subtract the new selection from the old one. I want to draw this from the center out, so I'll release that key and then press Option or Alt again. And now it draws from the center out. I can add the Shift key to make it a perfect circle. Keep those keys down and hold the space bar, and now you can move it around as you're drawing it. Release the space bar and you can carry on drawing. So I can draw a circle that's exactly the same size as the original one, hold the space bar to move it into position, release the space bar, and I can carry on drawing, still with Option or Alt and Shift held down, and there's my concentric circle. When I release the mouse button, it has subtracted the inner circle from the outer one. If you hold Shift and Option or Alt before you start drawing a selection, then the result will be an intersection of the new selection with the old one.